Hi, I'm James. This is Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about multiple locations, but first, I need a haircut. Don't you? Look, look at it. A lot of gray. Okay. Where was I? All over the place. So let's say that you have a couple warehouses, or maybe you manufacture in one place and you have a warehouse in another for distribution. Let's talk about how that helps us. So if you have multiple locations, and this is maybe the same town, same state, all across the country, doesn't matter, there's some benefits to this. We have additional time and speed on our side because we can quickly respond to a customer's orders because we're all over the place, which helps keep us a little more competitive and makes a presence for us in our field, and also allows us to deal with more volume, more variety of products. Um, but most of all, it really helps us spread wherever we need to. We can reach out and sell and distribute to whoever wants our product. And you can do that even just as one, but with more space, more volume, this typically can help with your competition. But this also leads to a whole lot of data, a whole lot of information of what is going on in each one of these places that you need to be able to break down and put to use and put to work for you. So how do we do that? Well, obviously, we need to figure out some kind of software solution. If you're trying to do all of this and just some um, pen and paper spreadsheet thingamajig, it's really going to eat up your time, waste a lot of time. So obviously, we need the solution, but why is that? Well, let's look at some of the advantages in dealing with multiple locations. So one, obviously, is inventory levels. Whether this is at one location or all of the locations, you need to be able to immediately respond and know what your levels are at at each location so that you know what you're doing, what's selling, what's not selling, and make adjustments as necessary. Shipping carriers. By having complete integration, you can very quickly integrate with all of the main players, whether it's UPS, uh, FedEx, Postal Service, etc., so that you can distribute your products to where they need to go as fast as possible. Transfers. So let's say you got a location down here and it's running low on a particular item, but up here it's really not selling you quite a bit. You can immediately make that transfer to down here and all that information is stored in your software so that you know where everything's going and you can quickly put to use the items that you already have without needing to spend additional time and money ordering that from somewhere else or from a vendor, whatever. Trends, whether at one location or regionally or across every space that you own and manage. You need to know what's selling, what's not selling, what's seasonal, what is an overall shift in maybe your market, or what is one particular item that's really starting to gain a lot of traction. Dynamic. You need an automated solution that will immediately tell you what's selling, what's not selling, that isn't going to tell you in two weeks where you're at, that can tell you in that moment what your levels are at. So again, you can make the proper adjustments with your data. And then finally, accounts and accounting. When all these things are going on, it needs to be able to link up with your accounting package so that you're not then taking the information in your data and having to put it in some other program, type in some other solution. It needs to be able to join immediately to dynamically update so that you can see where you're at how every location is doing. And again, if you need to make adjustments, you're able to respond and not have to dig through all this data, not sort out what's going on, but make an informed decision. So remember, with multiple locations, there's all these benefits to your business and staying competitive. But it brings its own bit of problems that you need to address head on to put your data to work for you. Uh, this, this Whiteboard Wednesday, I'm James, and I really, I really need a haircut. Like, I don't even know why I did this thing. It's